Ten seconds remaining. OGs turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Script vs. G. We're now into game two of the series. OG, of course, at the moment, leading one game up. We've kind of sit back, got a few picks and bans. I thought we'd get ourselves stuck into this early, because, uh, you know, as you were saying about the last game, Wakey, welcome back away again, of course. Wakey Pick joining me for this cast. Uh, you know, the draft is going to be very interesting to see, because how does Secret, how does Secret react to that kind of uh, being beat down by Morphling in that fashion? Like, uh, what are they going to change up? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, and uh, that Shadow Demon's still there because you've gone for these back. Anchor's still in the pool. Obviously, a hero that we've been sort of. Yeah, this could just take the Shadow Demon. A lot of teams just feeling that this is the hero that you grab your hands on. It's, if it's there, you take it. Secret, definitely one of the to do so. So, first pick, Shadow Demon. OG, as you said, you know, last time I think they did react pretty much with those first two bands. Secret have come out with here as their first two picks, but see how they change it up now. Game two. And uh, and what they go for. I mean, what, what, what kind of comes to mind for you? Do you think they might go for the Earth Spirit in these first two? Reserve time. I can see the moment on the, the camera from that flight. He's so thinking hard about this one. They were talking from Jarax. He's like, Pick me your spirit. You can roll over people. In it. Yeah. OGs turn to pick. I mean, that's fallen down some pretty key lassos. I mean, I think it goes kind of the one where, you know, they were, they were losing the fights, but then he hits that lasso on middle by the ancients, and then bam. remaining five seconds remaining reserve time Team secrets turn to pick. Uh, this is and this is obviously again something that I see very very comfortable with. And having that eye, uh, as you said, uh, ways of getting people out of there, getting people in there. Now team secret. I struggled in game. What are they gonna pick up here? Second pick in. The PC Kunker is still available. If Poppy wants to pick that up and of course go for the combo that we're very used to seeing. We'll see if they do want to try and grab one of those cores. And as you said, Wolfling is still around. Will Team Secret simply ignore it and, and, and draft us that they're going to be a little better suited to dealing with it? Uh, no, they just go with the Kunker. Yeah. yeah. Turn to 
Uh, having a look at their back just uh, recently, uh, I think just once, yeah. They, they, obviously, it's I, I, I imagine most of the times it's been banned out because people are scared of it. Um, and obviously, a lot of teams, you know, that is the combat that they do like to run with. And uh, yeah, as you say, no. Even if you haven't seen the opponent do it a lot, you, you kind of just don't want to risk them from you know, having the opportunity to just get that that trifact, the Kunker, Shadow Demon Luna, which uh, we just know can be incredibly effective. And Secret now with their with their third bat. I mean, obviously we we saw the bat come out again from the last game. Obviously Oracle and and the Elder Titan aren't there, uh, so that leads pretty much uh, obviously the Morphling. Yeah. As you said. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Oh, I'm just kind of having a look back here. Yeah, OG, they've only run the IO once this uh, land, and they did get it when they had the drown themselves as well, so. Team Secrets turn to ban. And look, yeah. now look at that. OG actually wants to battle the Morphling because you know I, we've seen the power of when they have it. You know they 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 respect the what they know that if Secret get their hands on it, it could equally go the other way. And uh, interesting enough, Secret they're going to prioritize the uh, the tiny man uh, from uh, obviously taking that away in terms of the potential combos with Aya. Um Not a hero that we see a lot, but Secret I want OG to get their hands on it. Reserve time. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. OG, OG themselves. Good to start off for that. Taking into the bonus time now, that OG. Uh, yep. Juggernaut. Team secrets turn to. Yeah, as you mentioned, a uh, hero that both teams, I think, would have been looking at and considering. OG. Still, by the looks of it, you know, looking for that that secondary support and third core. You've seen the axe. You know that Secret are going to start running at you. They'll, they'll take the Naga. I mean, this is something that you know we mentioned. Obviously, Secret maybe being worried about in the first series, banning out. But OG, get their hands on it. So, I I imagine that yeah, almost certainly we've got no tail Naga. Anna playing the joke in the mid lane. And Secret now. They still need to pick up. Well, their own mid laner, mid one, and MP uh, on the safe lane. What do you pick against this? You've seen the Nar come out. You know this could be a resident sleeper. You have already got quite an aggressive build up. Is there anything else that you feel that Secret will be looking for to add to the pool?
OGs turn to ban. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, it, 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 yeah. I mean, obviously the slot. You know, it's one of the heroes that you can pick against the Juggernaut as a hero as well that can kind of be very hard to, to be I relocated gank pawn. He's going to be incredibly slippery to deal with. OG ban out of uh, the uh, Timber Sort, a uh, hero that we've seen Secret very flexible with in, in terms of the lane and the role that they run it. Now Secret with their final man. He's, he's another quite slippery hero, though. I mean, obviously, OG have the lasso. So. Yeah. It kind of feels like, in terms of draft at the moment, I mean, OG, have, they've still got a chance to kind of pick something up here. But it, it may be the, the kind of the problem that Seeker had in the first game in terms of trying to get the kill onto Anna's Morphling. And this time around, it's going to be OG trying to, to catch up the Slark Ember. But at the same time, yeah, Ember, you know, if he gets the Battle Fury, if he gets those items, can be considered, you know, a way to deal with that. But he's got to get those those core items. And, well, final pick for OG is going to be Fly on the Witch Doctor. So, Norris is going to have a lot of heals. Yeah, you're liking more what secrets come from. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Absolutely. And MP Slark as well. I mean, across the board, really. Secret very much got comfortable here. I would say some of us OG as well. They do have. That uh, kind of very strong, kind of classic OG lineup. But we'll see indeed how this one goes down, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ourselves into game two between Secret and OG as uh, the lanes start to, to come out. In fact, it's going to be a smoke movement from Secret. Uh, at the same time, from OG as well. I mean, if this does end up in a bit of a fist fight at level one, do you, do you favor a certain side here at, at, with the level one fighting? I could be uh, in trouble. He has got a point in the leap. When, yeah, OG, there's a limit to how deep they want to go on that. So, yeah, playing the Slark. And again, I mean, already, obviously, we're seeing just the heroes that they can't really make it go on. So, they'll just force him back and head back to rune, towards the rune spot. Uh, this is going to mean that Secret can get their uh, a free rune up top. But OG will, of course, grab themselves the rune down bottom by the looks of it. And uh, in terms of the lanes... It doesn't seem like we'll see anything too out of the ordinary. Uh, I'm going to have that mid lane matchup between... Oh, oh actually from OG. Oh, okay, I mean, it's a little bit because it's four years while he headed up towards the top. And do you like this decision from Secret? So running, yeah, the Slark on this top lane with the backup from Bai, and then having Rev on the safe lane. Yep. Oh, 
I mean, obviously, at the moment, Jerax, he's up there to help. Flies down on the bottom with S4. I mean, it, it, do you think we'll expect he just fly stay down here, try and make it hard for everyone to start off, or, or will OG need to have the Witch Doctor up top as well? I mean, already, look at the pressure. They're coming in onto Nota. He's got Jarrett's coming across, but the Shadow Prison stacks. There's a couple in a DJ flight. Pizza up to the top lane. They're going to need all the help they can get, really, to allow Nota to have the safe. And look, look, and look at this, immediately MP, he says, you want to come up here? I'll go down there. And uh, Secret immediately reacting to this lane movement from OG. Mid lane matchup, we well, yet to talk about it, but Anna, 8 for 3 against mid ones, 3 for 1. Uh, it certainly seems to be a bit of a bit of a tricky start here for the Amber Spray on the mid lane. As uh, Anna's starting to get ahead. Uh, actually, no Blade Fury. And as I said that, he is in a lot of trouble. He's gone. So Puppy moving in just in time, reacting very nicely to the fact that Anna decided to use the Blade Fury aggressively. I mean, we're saying, you know, Anna was having a good time in CS. Maybe you know, he just got a little bit too cocky there and, and went aggressive and Puppy was there to punish it. Now he's sweeping down towards the bottom. S has got to be a bit careful himself. Hi, he's just got out. Yeah, just now got enough mana for the option. And then... And they can on point. Puppy and his Kunkka. Strong. Two kills to start off for Secret. As the movements around the map are very successful. And as we said, you know, the mid lane, there was, the mid one was falling back a bit. So Puppy, he's got to keep this up. He's got to keep making these movements. Putting the pressure on the lanes from the map and freeing up the space for MP mid one and uh, forever, of course, just to have that start that they need. Oh. I mean, in, in reaction to OG, they have both of their spots flying up, flying Jerex. I mean, which took to an IO. I guess that's that's one of the things really. They can obviously do a good job at protecting No Tail, but in terms of moving around the map, it's it's a lot harder for them to get stuff done. Capacitor to Pilot Die and Puffy Shadow Demon combo. He's got a haste to drop board that. Breath. Is it a half one to go for? They will try for it. TP reaction's coming through. The spins bringing Hotel down a little bit. He turns up. Hasn't quite got the mana for a torrent though, but at least does force them to back away. Forever might pop though. He's good. Oh. <laughs> very, very close indeed. But yeah, good from Puppy. You know, you don't get the kill, but yeah, you, you manage to stop them and hold them off long enough to allow Axe to escape. Back towards the... Uh, look at the lane still. Anna, even though we got knocked down, he really is having a very nice... Again, I say this, but he's going to go down. I, I think I've cursed Anna. Keep saying he's having a nice time farming with Nanny dies. I mean, mid one, finding a solo kill against the Jug. I mean, that shouldn't really happen in the mid lane, should it? Yeah. I was just gonna play this safer. I'm just gonna play again using the Blade Fury. Oh, if he dies again. Die. Oh. Ooh. 
Maybe if they get a torrent into this change, he could have been in trouble. I mean, I, he's just played so aggressively in this mid lane. It, it has come back to bite him two times already. I mean, Pi. Pi gets the disruption set up. I should be able to find a kill out of this one. No tail. He's not quite level six. It's going to be no song of the Sire Prep. Comes in, gets the call on to fly. And comes Jarek as well, trying to save fly. The heels doing quite a bit, in fact. Fly keeping himself alive here. Finally gets dunked down. Get one, gets two. Even just get himself free. No tail falling low. He has got the mana for the. Oh, he's, oh, he's got a pussy out. Oh. He didn't want it. <laughs> I am. But still, two kills there for Ferev. Very nicely done there by the team. And ne next time when that happens, no tell. He'll have level six, so he's gonna have the song. And you know, if someone was available then, those two kills don't happen. No tell. He allows you to disengage. Because as we saw with the heals, they were able to keep each other alive. The two supports fairly long, so you know, just buying time for for no tell to just come in and song. Y you're gonna be able to keep your supports alive. But obviously, that wasn't to be the case with no tell. Just on level five, the time that they the side of secret made that play. MP could go back in. He's got the Shadow Dance. He can fully go for this one. He's falling a little bit low as he jumps into the Firefly and back and back. Puppy missing the Torrent. S4. So let's get out. Now well, 5 for 0 at the moment. Secret. They're getting the kills, but the farm's certainly there for OG's cause. No doubt. Given a lot of protection at the start of the top lane. 52 for 11. Anna. Uh, be it him going down twice in the mid lane, he's still second highest on the CS. Well, actually, over to there where I see other kills. Conspiring, it's it's very, very close, really, across the cores. Uh, pretty much the, the biggest difference being that there's obviously uh, a bit of a gap between S4 and Ferev. And that's, a, of course, due to the fact that Ferev was able to get those two kills uh, very nicely on the top lane. So it's given him a bit of a cash boost. And here we have Smoke Up, Secret, and they're looking to go. The question is, uh, who do they find? Yeah, it's just very hard for Secret to, to do something here. Nice here. No tail. Oh, actually, no tail's... Big Jerry still is going to be chased down and gone. No tail. Uh, he's not put a point in the song yet. So there's no chance of disengaging. And it's going to come across. He has got an Omni Slash. Oh, so he wants to be careful. Wow, with the lasso, he knows he can go. But again, Ferev comes in, takes one of the hits, and that's going to allow Mip one to get himself out by the looks of it. Ferev, he's going to try for the TP out. Oh, the net's there to cancel it, so they will kill the axe. But Ferev going in, literally throwing his body out in order to allow Mid one to get himself away safely. Still in the jungle. I mean, no tails there. Uh, his team aren't, and Secret Arm. Jarex will turn up. Torrent's gonna miss. Mid one. See who they can look for. Here's the boat coming in onto Io. Jarex it out. I know tail. Still hanging around. Yeah, they're out now.
Getting a lot down bottom. And as you said, yeah. Closing on the Shadow Blade. A rev. Very close to his Blink Dagger. 1700 gold. Yeah, OG try and, need to try and slow down the pace of this game a little bit more. But no tell that. Obviously, we can see the farm is still very, very close because of the fact that they've managed to keep no tell. You know, in the jungle, they were being able to protect. They did lose lives around it. No tell. Being kept alive. And now moved down to this bottom lane. But MP has already got his eyes on. Giving it a little bit of a go. TP's coming through. No tell and fly. They've got to be careful there. He could have three men in the neighborhood. Pi gets a, a disruption. They have the torrent and the boat. No tell. He hasn't. Obviously, he's still not got a. Uh, now he's got a point in the song. And that's a good job as well. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, they want to look for the turnaround. Yeah, Anna bought in by Jarax. The boat coming out. It's going to land. No tail, though. No tail. Being caught down further, though. MP trying to get back in position. Does, does, doesn't land the pounce. He's got Shadow Dance. He's not going to use it as again. Now he uses it. Looks towards Anna. The same time on the back of it all. Ace gets the lasso onto Puppy. OG will find the Kunker kill. MP trapped. Probably the Omni from Anna just in time to dip down MP. Big kills for OG there. They turn around the fight perfectly. A fantastic real cape from Jerex. It's great to see you there. You know, we saw No Tell pops the song. We're like, he's not going to get out, but that's fine because OG, they were paired to get themselves in and fight back. With the combo, a little bit of a pass as they send everything out. They will get Anna into boat. Good call from Forever. The dunk a little bit early. I'm sure he's still dead. Oh, the healing ward. Healing ward. Oh, surely not. Surely not. There we go. <laughs> oh, you did? You gave him the right little round. OG now. Okay. And uh, this is an Arga as well, you know, no tail. He's on 3k goal, so the scuffles have been happening. He's been keeping himself alive mid lane. What the hell is going on? A bit of a deep dive as mid one and puppy come in with the tie bringer hit. They'll take down one, mid one. Very low on the mana. He hasn't got enough mana to jump to the remnants. So Notel and S4 can give him a bit of a chase down here. There's the lasso with S4 with the blue reveal. Jumps in. Brings one back. Now with the stick touches. He's got enough to jump once. Oh, he doesn't quite get himself down onto the river. He's got four stacks on him, slowing him down. Anna gonna get this one more time. There it is. S4 comes in, gets the final hit. They do take down the Ember Spirit there. As, I mean, Secret went in for that kill, but losing the Ember Absolutely not worth. Oh, oh, he's got that Shadow Blade done now. So now he can try and do exactly that. He's coming across. Has he got his eyes on? He's coming between the towers. He, he's looking to Anna, but Anna, and he's got a Blade Fury and an Omni, so there's no way you're getting that kill on your own. Yeah. No tail. 500 gold away from that relic, so that first big hurdle nearly complete and at a very good timing as well. And on top lane, flies on his own, and uh, well, there's eyes on him. Yeah, he'll go for the the, uh, the Death Warden, and uh, quite aptly so, as they quickly finish him off. I mean, they put. They're facing the no-tail basket, but uh, the wish can also be fine. And yeah, mid lane, a bit of a jump in. Look at S4 into the combination. He has got the dunk, not quite able to bring him down low enough. S4. Can he play as well out of here? Puppy's actually not any mana. 
So S4 is going to get him out. S4, get away. Everything is thrown down upon him. MP, he really wants this kill for team. S4. Oh, he's gone the wrong way. Oh, get the career instead, lad. Oh, he's, he's not. He's, he's He wants to get out. He doesn't want to risk it. He can't afford to go for plays that are going to cost his life. S4 playing his way out of that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. He's, ne oh, he's nearly got the Radiance. He's, he just picked up the Relic. Yeah. This is danger territory. You know, once No Tail hits that timing, it's. Secret of really good up the ante. They've got their eyes on this. They need to get on position. He's moving over with the Firefly. But yeah, immediately. If one actually remnants out. Not that far away, though. They know that he's still around. Can they get the Blink Lasso? They've got their eyes on him. Yeah, he's going to be able to get out. They don't want to go that deep. Yeah, they see with this one. I think, yeah, they saw Puppy around. So they, knew, they felt that, you know, Secret could be there in full force. So OG just playing it safe. Making sure that they don't go for anything too risky. And there we have it. Radiant's now complete on no tail. 17 minutes, absolutely fine time to have it. You know, he's top of the net worth board. This is great. Yeah. Yeah, big call as well. Just catches him on the clip, it's enough. There's the quick dunk and Anna's down. Coughs like that, exactly what Secret needs to achieve and then they need to find something off the back of it. But uh, yeah, a lot of stun on for Rev to make those plays get himself those calls because as we're seeing if you land a call on any of these heroes secret can kill them you know you puppy just lands combo and bam there's the torrent the boat a little bit off port fly will still go down I mean, I guess that's the thing as well, you know, Secret, they don't really have anyone that can hit towers that, that well at the moment. I mean, you've always got an Ember that's gone bots first, uh, and now building into the Battle Fury. MP has a Shadow Blade, going for the Echo Saber, but still, you can't take towers at a very good rate. And look at this again, OG's movements, if they can get a, a Ember kill off the back of this, I mean, S4, he's going to have eyes on it. Uh, it looks like the team already bailed out. Uh, they do have a relocate, oh, no, uh, relocate in 10 seconds. They can wait 10 seconds, Jarrett's can bring someone in, who's he near? Oh, he's only near Fly. They have, they have Lasso and Death Ward. Baby. He's got to be quick, S4. And we have relocate there, he's instantly... Yeah. Plays it out. And, you know, this is, you know, we've seen OG create a lot of space with S4 being elusive. This is exactly vice versa. You know, mid one, attracts the attention of four heroes, relocate as well, and he just plays his way out of there. So spaces are opened up around the map. Puppy's allowed a bit of a chance to get some levels up. MP, going to look to see if he can find any kind of stragglers uh, as he sweeps across. Actually, carrying around the gem as well on the uh, Slark. So he's looking to get some of that map control. Yeah. He's got the song available. We're gonna see him make a go, but immediately, yeah, no tell songs. And uh, T's out. Oh, the torrent! Puppy! He got it just outside of the range. And now, looking for the chase down with the battle hunger, then a lot of shots. There's still a tier one, so TP back up there, but it's not quick enough. They'll get the kill. A puppy. 
I mean, that torrent range, it is pretty ridiculous. And uh, we're seeing the power of it there against the Naga Siren. Big, big go there for secret. And it... Yeah. Oh, he was. <laughs> I would have loved to see his face in real life. He's probably like, all right, boys. We're oh, shit. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, that's close. All right, we go. All right, we'll get the tower now. Get them set a bit more money into the bank. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, actually, but... Oh, but fly, it's not going to be as lucky. Oh, the Jukes? I don't think they did. Flies fine. Yeah, it is. It must have been out of range. Puppy did. I didn't see Anna either. And in fact, Anna, you see Puppy. Oh, Puppy, Puppy. He's been spotted under the wall. Relocate coming in. Got the armlet. Well, let's see if we can... I'll be back. Back for it. Managed to find a kill onto the Naga Siren, but we've got the eyes on Puppy here. Oh, no, he doesn't survive this. But, no, oh, he, go he finally goes down. He tries to go for the armlet, but there's, there's no toggling through a Blade Fury. But yeah, more importantly... Yeah? Oh my goodness, what a trade indeed for Secret, yeah. This is a let you know, this is a point, you know, Ember's on par with the Radiant Snaga's farm. Mid one, is that the, uh, that, 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 that is the completed Battle Fury. So 22 minutes in, Battle Fury and bot's done. He's on top again. And they're coming across, but mid one. Uh, he has remnants out. They can just play around with this. Ooh. Look at this OG. Tries to... Oh, that call! That call, though, for him. Comes in onto three. But the smoke from Naga Hotel just in time. They've lost fly. Oh, it was a good job. No tail was there because OG were about to be absolutely crushed. If mid one gets in, one side of fist with that battle fury. That's three dead. Yeah. Puppy, 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 he hits the torrent, they go for any, he has got the Blade Fury. And they don't quite at the moment have enough damage to take him down before he's able to get away. But MP, you know, off the back of that bit of it, he's got 2.7k gold. He himself, he's getting big. As you said, secret. As we've seen, if they can hit those calls, OG can be caught in very awkward positionings. And uh, well, we, we can see that secret want to fight, you know, next item for the Slark. He just goes straight for the BKB, you know, with that BKB done. He gets himself in there. There's not a lot that OG can do to kill the Slark at this point. He, he's kind of the equivalent of this morph thing that we saw in game one. I mean, Anna, I kind of switched away and then went back. He came fairly far out to the Creep Wave and Secret. It just jumped straight back in on him. And these are kills you cannot afford to be given away. Anna's really, you know, he's starting to pull down a little bit in terms of the network. Mib one has the Blink Dagger as well, so he's going to become even harder to catch out. You know, we said that Secret had these slippery cores of the, the Ember Spirit and the Slark, and even more so now. Yeah, MP very much close to picking up that BKB. So OG, they need to play for, for the little They need to keep the game going. Have no tail, pushing out the lanes. It is a fairly hard high ground to break, but it's not impossible. You know, if the axe gets in there and hits a hero with the call, you can break the base. Just the issue is obviously taking down the structures at a good speed, but you can definitely kill OG if you find that opening.
Oh, look at that! Look at the net worth as well. Look at the net worth difference overall. Quite a quite a sizable one, over 10k. Yeah. Quick pause here. Yeah, OG. They still need they need more time for Nota. And he, he is still there, you know, it's a similar story into the way that, you know, OG were able to bring the game on because they had and having such a great game. This time around it's no tell who's up there. But he, he still needs more items. The OG probably be best to keep their resources defending the high ground, and they may just have let this one go. I mean, as we see, it takes quite a quite a bit of time to take down a tower, but uh, OG, yeah. Yeah, which is good. Uh, OG know this. Look at S4's position. He wants them to TP back. OG wants to try and fight this. Uh, as the Blade Fury TP from one. Actually, okay, with Anna being out, yeah, OG realized they've got to get themselves away. They're actually just out on the sidelines. Yeah, it looked like they wanted to maybe try and go for a pick, say if Secret sent like just the Axe down or the Amber down to clear the lane, but sending two down, that was a little bit too much for, for OG to feel that could jump in and deal with. So, managing to get out. Yeah. Oh, it's probably the link side, man. Maybe. Yeah, protect from the lasso. I mean, then, yeah, Lincoln's blink. He's very hard to take down. I mean, as we're seeing at the moment, if Forever hits the call, gets the spin, we're still at the stage of the game where damage isn't really the issue for, for Secret. You know, they have that amount of control. Yeah, a slight fist and a couple of spins and the, the combo coming from Puppy. That's, that's enough to take damage these heroes. doing his best to keep the game rolling and it's allowing them this window to keep on top s4 on the top lane oh pie oh do, do, do. he is probably dead i don't think there's, there's no way he gets out of this one easy pick for s4 he, he played the long game he was hanging around for a long time and paying off as he gets himself a free kill Things. Oh, look for this towards top, going into West Fort, the copper forever there. Yep, the song is not going to save him as the boat comes crashing in. And they turn this OG, I'm just one up, 
Oh, here we go, having a go with it all. BKB pop by MP. In fact, the Oni slash rips through for F. And now chasing down with the Blade Fury, trying to go for more. Mid one has to round on himself out of there. Yeah, they're going to look to get a bit of a lock on. Anna. Yeah. Got the backup of the team. RP turns around for the type ring ahead, but they're coming in hard. MP turn up. He hasn't got the Shadow Dance. is still on cooldown. He's got to run. Anna. Jarex chasing down the Slark here. Pi trying to come in to slow the mid one. Comes back in with the slide. The chains onto Jarex, but they've lost the Slark. Pi Lido drops the demonic purge onto Anna, but they can't kill him. They've just got to disrupt him and run. Mid one. Remnants away, Pilai dies, still being chased by OG, Puppy goes for a torrent hold back, no tip, but Anna follows through, takes down a third kill, Mimwon's come back into it, trying to finish off no tail, but no tail, TP back to Sexy, the illusions near killing Jerax there from Pilai dies disruption. But at the end of the day, OG finding three big kills, a massive cash swing, and yeah, the gem as well, switching hands. Yeah, big place for Noto. And it really feels, yeah, that the lack of push is the per is the, the kind of the Achilles heel for secret. And OG realized this, and they're able to stall the game out. For the time being, Perev coming across. He's going to go for a bit of a play as he jumps in to Anna. And he's got it. That is uh, a very nice kill for the Axe to find solo there. And coming across. Jarrett realizes that this away. OG back towards the high ground. Making sure no one gets caught out here. Right. As lines being drawn by Jarax, I mean, no tell knows. This is, he said he's, he's got the money for the Octarine as well. And uh, with that, I mean, the, the lane situation is going to get even worse for Secret. They they obviously have the Axe. I mean, Axe Kunker and Ember can clear ways out, but they to do that, they've got to be in different parts of the map, and that's not great for the way that Secret are trying to play. And the way that they're going to be able to tackle the fact that each and every fight, no tell, able to turn it around with the Song of the Siren. There we go, the jump in forever. Oh, they've gone in on an illusion. The illusion's out for sure. Secret, they need to find a proper kill. And they've lost forever. He's going to be the first to pop fly. On the sideline with the death force. There's the Omni coming out, but Envy has the Shadow Dance to survive. There's the song for No-Tail. Looking to reset the fight around the Shadow Dance duration. See what they can do with this one. Are they going to try and go in or are they going out on the side of it all? Anna could be in trouble. Torrented MP and Puppy surround him. Anna's going to fall. Cost bouncing between Pi and MP. MP trapped up. Pi's out. Uh, see, they can't get him out. No, he's gone as well. Mid one. The last man surviving here. Can he actually escape? S4. He's going to be look. He's going to go for this chase. And one turns around. He has one remnant left. And actually, Bob managing to pop a. Pop it there with a oh, with that slight, so as I was staying a bit too close for comfort. Maybe one hour able to survive in that bit of a, a bloodbath there, going the way of OG, taking down that S4 barrel at the end. And so he's just hit by the slight, but still, big fight. Don't relocate either. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's... I think, I mean, can he get... Can he get... I think it's Snowtail as well. Oh, he's trying. He really wants it. He really wants it. Oh, and he's going to get it. Oh, he got it. He gets out. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. OG did not expect that. Yep. Mid one, six, one, and nine, and he's not done yet. He jumps in. 
They've got the change onto S4. S4, he's gonna go down. There'll be a buyback from No Tail. And they're coming in. He has the Omni available. There's the sword. Now, what you need now is... You need a back hole. You need a vacuum. He ain't got it. It's a secret. They'll walk off the slumber. In fact, well, they might want to get the cell still stuck in. Now, look at that, Anna. Anna, lining up against Mif 1. Mif 1. Playing around this. Dancing beautifully between the damage. But Puppy's down. They do manage to bring down the Kunker. And so with that, with one man gone, Secret will back off. But yeah, mid one. And come on the slide of fish. Pie! Kill the illusion! No! Oh! No. The illusion burned too much as Pie Lie Die drops. And mid one survives. The ninja. Seven, one, and nine. It's, it's pretty much, it feels like it's going to become this kind of epic matchup between No Tails Naga and mid one Zemba. And at the moment, as we see, you know, if mid one can play this aggressive and, and calculated, I, I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah. Better. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a it, yeah. No tell did drop it on death, but yeah, yeah. He didn't. It was kind of like more focused on just getting the hell out. I think he was like, oh crap, I got the kill. I got to get out of here. So yeah, didn't, didn't really have time to play around with his inventory. Uh, Bash done now on MP. I mean, it's obviously still being turned upon a little bit. By the, the whole kind of fight between the M and the Nog, but the Basher. Could certainly do a little bit more in terms of just locking down one of the backliners, causing issues for the support. Of course, this is nice as well. The old Shadow Demons stealing the Naga Illusions and give yourself a, a bit of burn damage to push the waves back. As uh, indeed Pine Lord can do that. Oh my goodness, though, 20, 24, 15, 38 minutes in. Top. Ooh. It was I don't know, they actually relocated across as well for that. It's a hard catch for them to get. They popped the Lincolns, but we'll get the follow through lasso in time. As uh, mid one's reactions, absolutely instant now. He's, he's gonna be fine. He blinks out. Barev, he came across as well. Because one thing, yeah, that's why the Shadow Blade's so brilliant here on Forev. We are seeing the uh, illusions from no time, making it very hard for Forev to get jumps. Now, oh. yeah. Secret. Uh, we're gonna smoke up here. We're gonna have mid bomb push in the middle lane. And we'll see if they get a catch. MP to lead the way of the Shadow Blade for Ev to fall as well. Uh, OG. Keeping themselves up on the high ground. Uh, Jax does have an, uh, he has a relocate. And he is gonna try and use the save and it will. Brings him out the side. Good relocation there from Jackson now for appreciation. He has got another call. I mean, he actually gets the blink out. He's going to be able to get himself away safely. And OG, can they actually find a catch here? Chasing them down, they'll go for the Omni Slash. Good bounce on Tempe, but he's good to fight through it. All Pada looks to be the one to suffer here. Breath comes back in with cool, but he's taking so much damage. Anna, is he going to find this back to where he lives? And now S4 with the ladder. Oh, MP Nocturne with the triple kill as 4 fall on Secret. Again, it's these decisions to pop the song to get themselves stuck back in there.
It's absolutely running into the beat. Is a good Omni as well? I mean, it was kind of split damage, but it worked out for Mana because OG had the potential to, to finish off those low health heroes. And four dead. Where they can. Well, yeah, yeah, they don't even have tier 2 bottom to tier 2. They can team to the tier 2 mid when they're back up, but it, yeah. It's gonna be too. OG. Get themselves the roast. It's gonna be scan out secret. They know that they're going up. But very limited options in terms of getting them in, terms, in, in time to fight. And we have it ages into the hands of Anna. Back to base. This is a, it's a bit of a sad game for Pi to play in, isn't it? It's it's got to be so so careful where it comes here now. Oh, I mean, no to butterfly picked up as well. Seen already. I mean, obviously there was that flashy play from mid one. They were able to kill them, but now no tail. Playing the fights on the back line, allowing Secret to kind of bully go in on someone else and then turning the fights around. How are we seeing Mib 1 do it? So, okay, so Mib 1 did finish off the MKB with that Demon to rather than going for the completed Aedilus first. He is prepared. Yeah, Radiance Miss and Butterfly, yeah. Look at this, there's my remote everywhere. In the mid, in the jungle, and it's also at the top. There's a reason why our teams are, are banning out No Tails Naga. And OG just played so what well. They created so much you know, a, a, a kind of an area of safety at the start. We just saw, you know, obviously OG just playing defensive. They were pretty much like a full man in their own jungle. Just to make sure No Tail gets the start he needs. And you can see why, why that works out for them here. But as she said, you know, Secret are able to somehow fight around the song, eight Naga out of the fight. Can certainly kill off the rest of the lineup, but it's OG coming in aggressive. Smoking up. Uh, Secret want to try and turn. Forever leading the way. He'll get the call onto Anna, but the loot is just ripped into bits. MP takes the healing ward out. Now turns towards Anna. Good turret from Puppy, but still the damage just isn't quite there. The slight brings OG down fairly low. OG survive. The secret have to back themselves back up to the base. Get themselves ready to go. Every lane being controlled by No Tail. You can see mid one, he's just desperately trying to pull a lane away from them on the bottom. We'll see around this bottom was out just to make sure that they're not in a situation where pressure's coming in from all sides. That's what No Tail's doing his best to do. Yeah. And that's four. Yeah, I guess the last one to buy. That'll be one. And with the song, ooh. I think like he's going to be fine. MP again doing what mid wanted down bottom. He's now pushing up the top lane. And uh, OG, oh, we will look back up. That was because he just... <laughs> he's looking at MP. Let's certainly try and play around. I just straight up, yeah. He's out. I mean, is that that, that really is that's the aim of the game now for Secret? Do you feel that they they just have to somehow make sure they're not in a position where all three lanes are in on them?
nice to warm it again, OG. I've got S4, got myself a cooldown. I'm able to get it, but they have actually spotted out part. He's underneath the ward. And here comes S4 coming across. My guys for the TP. Four up, bye. Get, getting caught out by OG. Desperately trying to get a bit of vision out. He's got the rep. He's good. But, yeah, putting the pressure on. So the fact that they managed to pull the lane all the way around there, that's something. But they need a little bit more than just that. So OG are knocking on the door. There'll be a jump for him trying to get it. But the test ball with the last test is going to get broken. So he's fine. Axe is not going to be dragged out out of the base. And OG still just standing on the doorsteps. Hi. Oh, tried to go for disruption. Instead, Opti just take the Naga illusions. So they've got something to, to push back the wave a little bit. And I just play Fury's up now. That's the jump for him. Gets the call. BKB from MP. Jumping in onto Anna. No tail pops the song. MP's going to be held back by that net. And now the Omni. It comes back through. But they're actually doing minimal damage, of course, to Fereb. Fereb now finally falling a little bit. But the disruption comes out from Pi. As he's trying to get himself out of there. Fereb finally falls. Careful, it's been popped down by Fly. MP jumps away. We are buying back from Fereb now. OG managing to force that out of the axe. And they're still hanging out outside of the base. And they're both trying to go for eye on the back lines, but he's being healed up. He can't quite finish it off. And again, no tell. The song, and they're just going to TP. They're disengaging. They're already just a few heroes fairly low. They don't want to stick around for this. They can just reset. But to go again at a late day, and Janaji you know, damage has already been done. They take the tier 3 down mid lane. Tier 3 down on the bottom. The Rex already taking damage. So OG could just wait, get those ults back online, go in again, and then try secret again on this base push. And they need a rapier ember. That's what they need. We need to see mid one pick up the rapier. Surely. Surely it's becoming rapier territory. But I guess the thing with a rapier is it's, it's so hard because one bad positioning, the Naga just songs, and then they just walk up to you, even though you're on the back lines and then kill you and the rapier's gone. It's, it's, again, it's so hard. Oh my. Oh, uh, on Ferev. Uh, he is absolutely surrounded at the moment. Uh, they're going to jump onto him. Anna, play Fury, kicking out the bow. Ferev still trying to go in. The slight comes through from mid one. Nearly take down Fly, but he can't quite get the final touch on it. And indeed, they've lost that. That's a dieback on the back line. They killed No Tail. They killed No Tail. Well, that's pretty huge. If No-Tail doesn't die there, OG very well. Go for the push. Oh, hang on. The supports, sir. They, they are falling so quickly to the, the Radiant Spur. But the fact that No-Tail dies there means the Secret have another chance. Because if OG have the full fight, man, and Axe is down without buyback, their base is looking to be in a lot of trouble. He's got something. And it, oh, he, yeah, he's brought the relic. He brought the relic. He's, right, he's not brought the whole rapier. That's um, yeah, that's MP, MP's Demon Edge. Yeah. So it is going to be rapier soon. Keep on manning up for the cause. MKB's been picked up on MP. I mean, both of these cores are scary. As we've seen, if they get a latch onto No Tail, I think No Tail just kind of underestimated the speed that they can kill him. You know, he, he starts to go for the song, but yeah.
crab. Oh, they get the jump onto Anna. He needs backup. He's got the song. Comes through. Will hold them down. Secret. Let's see what the plan is, Anna. Turns around. He's got the abyssal. Omni comes through. They'll take down for Rev. For Rev. Out again for 70 seconds. Puppy will know as well. They'll find the clunker. MP trying to man. Has to jump away. Has to get himself out of here. But S4. Going to be hot on the case. Anna jumping four as well. Now get two kills. I mean, that's more than enough. Maybe they can find themselves another. Pylai dies. Stuck in the middle of it all. OG. Find three. Roshan's up and at the ready. Mid one. Edwan. Oh, there's going to be a nice global coconut here. Where did it go? There it is. Oh. But either way, three heroes down. OG back to the Roche pit. They should be able to get this no trouble at all. And uh, the courier's being sent out. Yeah, mid, mid one's got enough now for... Uh, I nearly got enough for Rapier on buyback, so he just goes in now. I'm mean, at the end of the day as well. Even if he has buyback on top of the Rapier, it's still going to be hard for him to play back into losing it. But there we have it. There's the purchase. Rapier's now into the game. And we'll see if this is what Secret need to change this one around. You know, they may have kind of lost, obviously, the envy of, of, of the past. But mid one, he's stepping up. He, he wants to be the new eternal envy. Which I don't know if it's a good word. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, boy. 3 and it's in 25 to 20. It's the gold round. Up and down. Very much down for the side of Secret. G with a 14 gold lead. And they want all about how he plays it. I do, I do like what Mimpon's doing though, because he has the farm. I think what he's going to do, he's not going to pick that rapier up maybe till he buybacks. Or no, I, I, maybe that, or even until he dies. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, because at the moment he does enough damage, and uh, lo losing it on the first life, you know, you come back and you, you've not that, got that kind of big surprise punch. So I, he may go either way with it, but at the moment at least he, he is leaving it in the, in the fountain. OG. I oh, really it's the song. Radiance top tower is under attack. OG, if they want to get in position, they, they can do it. They can song, waltz up, and look for a fight, but it's it's very hard and it's very risky. You know, they they go, they they get a bad song out. You know, they, they don't get a kill off the back of it, and suddenly they're in such a vulnerable position, and, and Secret can just kind of and clean them up. So a lot of pressure rests on No-Tail's shoulders at the moment. So far, he's he's certainly moving up to, to to what the team needs him to accomplish. He's got himself to this point. Now he's just got to continue to perform at this high mechanic level. Bit of a waiting game now. I mean, as you said earlier, uh, this could be one of those games that it's hard to put a timer on. These, these are loons. <laughs> oh, a 
A couple more of those and the range reacts is gone. I mean, good point at this stage, he may be able to start building a bank of rapiers in the base. Is there any kind of big item for uh, OG that you can see kind of coming around the corner that you can help them in the base breaking? Buffing up these illusions is... And there we have it. So they have the arranged racks at no cost at all. But yeah, this Naga... I mean, a 50k now for this day is just... This is ridiculous. I mean, what's GPM? It's got to look pretty good, yeah. 956 GPM on Notel. That is... That's some crazy numbers. I mean, even for a Naga. Even for a good Naga game. That is a good, good, good Naga game. Yeah. And other players, that, that, that might have tilted you, but No-Tail's kept as cool. Oh, he's fine. The rape here into his hands by a mid-bomb. He has grabbed. Yeah. He, he doesn't need it. He doesn't need the boots. He needs to keep around like a ninja. Hit those crits. And he's golden. But he really needs to hit those crits. He needs to hit big ones. OG. Still hesitant on pushing into the base. It could not this off. There's a scan there from Secret. I know that they're coming in. They're going to try and commit. There we go. They jump in on the back line, but immediately they close up and there's the song. This is the song usage. Was OG going to come this? They could actually... No tail CP. Oh, no. oh, it was the bait TP. It was the BSTP Secret. They want to fight this coming in. Strato dance from P, the boat line. Still, still sticking around, not to pull, that's a S4, get a lasso though, onto SP, he drags back into the one from Fluffy, he gets he goes out, speed down though, does have a buyback available, use it, use it, for Ebs as well, he does not have buyback, heads onto the one, in a lot of trouble, off the slide, the Remnant mid one survives, will jump, but he's out, the game saving it from the radius, but he will have but Axe gets the triple kill, there's a buyback on Puppy. they've only got Axe down on the sidelines at the moment, so OG still get the kills, but mid one keeping himself alive. Song again, mid one just sits away from that slumber. This time, no tell. No tell, but he's beat out, mate. He is. It's the team. He's talking them with it. Oh, if he gets caught there by the chains, <laughs> he had nothing. He had no mana. They kept them up. Oh my goodness. Right, so... Anna gets a triple kill. He forced out two buybacks. I think that's pretty much the big win for, you know, for OG there. Next push. Slark and, uh, and Kunker, Puppy and MP will, will not be able to have that second try. Oh, it's the second rapier. It's the second rapier. It's the, uh, is it the back rapier or is it double? Is he going to stack him? It's the back up rapier. He's not going to have two out at once. Oh, hi. I mean, that, uh, well, we already know it's Garax. He's got an E-Blade. <laughs> and it does save someone from a slug, you know. There we have. And for the Rex, I'm going to finish it off. Demonic just drops onto Anna. He must try and go in. There's the song. There's the song from Nutel. It is going to be 
Damn, Puppy might be able to get you one. Nah, he's not gonna commit. It. Oh my goodness. Puppy now has any. I, I, I like this. Puppy's gone back for an Ether Lens. Obviously, 62 minute Ether Lens, not something you see every day. But that X range, the, the chance you can get inside of the inside of the song. And oh, what's this? MP of Forever! Okay, they'll get the jump onto Anna, but they're a little bit far away from the team. Secret, they're making their way into the torrent. Onto Anna, the jump over the slide. Anna being put below the forward from Puppy. It's onto the jump for Anna. He's going to be saved by Jerex. Anna will this one. Up. And the secret, they've got to get themselves out for Rev. He really can't afford to go down again. He's going to get the sidelines, but it's far from him. Jumps in onto the X. The strike comes through. Oh, there we have it. Anna, he's so low. But again, the song saved the Anna on the juggernaut. No tail. Oh my good, this Naga Siren play. He's even brought another flying car. He's, look how much, he's just got so much money. This game is, is getting off the charts, and in fact, this fight might not be over. MP. Let's see if we can find anything. That's not going to be the case. But this is uh, uh, bad news for Secret again. They're losing. Thanks. Oh, has he stacked him? Yeah, he's going. Ah, he keeps it. Keep it out. He is going all in. He is going all in. They need 25 seconds before Axe is back up. I mean, the thing is as well, Axe, he does have buyback available in terms of the timing. It's just the odd issue. If they have a fight and still able to get like one or two kills, chances are Axe is going to have the money to bring himself back in for a second time. But they need to find a kill in these fights. No trick is just not allowing them to, to buy. Must have be careful. That is good. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna say Mibbon was walking around with two raping the crit, and the crit is pretty key. He actually now gets rid of the link of it to pick up the crit the chip onto Anna. He's back. The song again coming out from No Tail. It allows Anna to be relocated out safely. No Tail TP is out again and you know, OG come here. And as soon as they realize fight is bad, they can get out every single time. No. Oh. Oh, four for it. He's got Jarex out here. He should be able to take him down. It's gonna be yours to back to the turn on this that Jarek. He's gonna be fine if Rev's out again. He's down for these five seconds. Mid one. Take down fly. A piece throws out the boat. The key cell's gonna pay it. Can he toggle his way out this one with the armor? No. The bash comes through. Anna will get it. A double kill for mid. Mid one managed to take down two spots. They still need a little bit more. Saying that does force OG again to back away. Secret, the two men down without buyback. It is, a, it is a bit of a slideshow. I think the servers are struggling with the time. The fact this game is going late. It's being played halfway across the world. It's getting a little bit crazy here. A mid one. Two Raiders and a Daedalus. 8.8k as well. I mean, we talk about the, the net worth of the Naga, but the mid one's certainly up there. Well. 16k gold on Ona. And and OG, they, they're gonna go for Roche, and of course they'll get, you know, with the amount of pressure that Secret have on them, they can't get out. Oh boy. The pressure certainly has been on for Secret for the last, uh, what feels like 40 minutes of this game. And Graf. Well, they managed to level it out at a 25 key uh, K decif deficit, so it's some kind of a good use. They've slowed down the lead, but uh, of course it is OG. Absolutely miles ahead at this point in terms of value. But that value on this Naga, and uh, as we see, no tell. He can't really necessarily get in a man fight. He just has to play as he has done, allow him to get out, and it is indeed a third rabia. Being purchased. What? Is this the backup right here? Let's see if it fits into his, into his kit. I'm actually going to smoke up here, secret. But I have one. 
It is, yeah, it looks to be back up for now. Radiance. They can get this wrap around. Puppy. He needs the smoke. He's trying to. He needs forever to hit ball for Leading him from behind. Yeah, sure the smoke gets to. Oh, he's coming up. They're just running immediately for Gets one to the back. They'll look to down fly first. The E-Blade is going to keep flight alive. And again, the song coming out. Radiance Soul Crusher has been destroyed. Radiant Soul Crusher has been destroyed. And again, the song coming out. Gonna provide some time for OG, but OG, they're a little split up, but they're in the boat. They've been flying across and they found S4. Secret, finding one kill to start the fight off here. They're gonna be able to find anything else. MP has his eyes on Jax, but Jax really is not. There'll be a buyback from S4. Brev is looking for this fly kill. And we'll get it. The two down OG, two down on Secret. And buyback's coming up from both sides. Oh boy, oh boy, but look at this, MP, Hexstar push coming in, MP's out, he's got buyback, he's got buyback, he has got buyback available, and he's straight away, but they're still, Kunkka down, MP had an answer to BKB, no doubt, and he has jump in there, the core as well, no jump down, midboard comes in, he's got damage, turns out, 90 seconds, looks like he's down more, S4, retreating back up to the north, Oh boy, oh boy. MP. Oh! That crit! Jack just literally got his part. And now, him, the ball himself could be in trouble. Now he's got the relocate out. But he, he's going to come back to this point. If the top lane is secret, they're stepping it up. They're keeping up the ante. They'll actually cut across. Jerks is relocated back down to the bottom in one second. Oh, he goes, but there they are. They're prepared for him. MP will finish him off with the dart pack. So, secret getting kills. Pushing out, but as you said, what stands between them and Mega Creeps? It is just, yeah, this one ranged Rax. And I mean, it's a ranged ra Rax wakey. That is going down from illusion push. And there's no notification. What? Where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many... Huh? No. No, he's got one there. He's got one on him. Oh, wait, no. He picked up the one in the... Oh, he has lost a rapier. Oh, okay. Axe recovered it, yeah. Okay, Axe is just holding it for the time being. Yeah, pops it out. And it's still in the hands of, of mid one. The three rapiers still on the side of script. And this is... It. I mean, secret are coming in with push. Song. No doubt. Looking for the setup. Mid one and P very close together. It's all about S4's jump. Can he find anyone? No, they all blink out. In fact, they're trying to hit down notes up. They know without the song, this is a good time for them to fight. They can get at Oji back up behind the towers. See, can they with this push? They there is a game three. It would be quite the win if they could. They're fighting with over 30,000. In favor of OG. Somehow secret managing to keep themselves relevant in this game. And this is it. If they can break the base, it will be absolutely incredible. It'll be so hard. OG, they've kept composure for pretty much the whole game. It started to shake a little bit in that last fight. Oh god, he's trying to go for the setup here. He's coming. No tail, he's going right around them on his own. And in fact, they're gonna look for him. No tail trying to juke it out in the tree line. Secret, they've come in, they've found him. No tail just sold, walks himself into an awkward position, and he's gone. Still giving up your life flood at this point. I mean, they have to create this mega creep. They get the mega creep, but no tail just goes in and throws himself to the house. Man. 
But that would be ideal. If they can get a Naga buyback out of this time. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Mip one nearly got the bank for a, a four Fraper. And then you can carry two out, have two as a backup if it needs to be. There's the two rapiers there, of course, sitting in the deck. Ready for round two, if it is required. Buyback states, I think that's the that's the stat that we were wondering about at the moment. Let's get it up for you boys at home. And as we can see, it's still a couple of minutes before MP and Pylai die. Buyback available again in terms of time. And Puppy is very much far away from a buyback. For Rev, only 100 gold away from it. So, secret need a couple more minutes. Then they'll be in a position where they've got two lives to play with. I mean, just look at this. This is an OG, a team that has Mega Creeps. But at the moment, you know, without the Nagra Light, they just, they have to wait in the base. They have to stay. Uh, Mike! Oh, man. Have you looked at the gems in OG's base? Oh, this is... Uh, oh, okay. Ah, uh, puppy. Uh, we'll see. Actually, the counter play for Rev. He can hit it all. On to Jarex. Jarex will be used up. Anna jumps in on the pilot eye. Pilot eyes now. Can she finish off Jarex? No will. Can the Jarex kill with the Omni Slash from Anna? On to Rev. Only low. He pops the Pelexical. Cool. It's not going to keep him alive. He's out. And indeed, with the Killing God, he just got enough back. And we have the jump in. That's for being because but Pelexi back away. There's the buyback now from Rev. OG managed to force Secret to back. And the buyback now used by Rev. Oh man, 73 minutes into this game. It still certainly is OG's game to win. But Secret are showing us that they're still managing to, to just get the, the situation going in the way that they're allowed to, to try and find these plays. Oh, he picked them all. He's taken them all. Three rapiers, Daedalus, Battle Fury, he's good to go. We're seeing crits hitting the 3k. Yeah. He's critting for higher than my MMR. <laughs> oh, boy. But the waves, they're pushing in. OG really has the pressure. Pressure being pushed up against Ikrit now. And they're taking tier 4s. I mean, the tier 4s are... Pretty much both down in the mid lane. Secret. They may just lose this game to illusion spam on the ancient. Oh no, Ferev does not have buyback here. He's caught out. There's no axe. Oh my goodness, and Anna jumping in onto MP slot. BKB tries to turn with the top. The grit Anna blew low. Pilot guys with the disruption. Oh, it's gonna allow Anna to get the blade off. Oh. Anna's able to back away. Ancient starting to take damage. They don't have this axe. Secret. And the last chance here. The crits even not enough damage at the moment. They've got so much heal. OG. They need a massive sleight of fist. Oh, S4 looking for the lasso. Hex is in mid one. Mid one, Hex up. He needs some kind of a set. Mid one, be focused. He's down. He hits the deck. Oh no. The air buys back. He's got to do something big with this. The song comes through. They do manage to kill S4. The Wraith is down though. OG onto the ancient MP. He comes through. Focus is Jarex. He's managing to keep them off. Anna and Fly. They come back in just looking to hit the engine, but they've lost the IO. Anna, be focused. The engine's going down though. OG, they've done it.